Who let the dogs out? That's a hell of a nice fish there, Bob. Alrighty, YouTube. What do we have today? Well, as you can read, we have a box via eBay. Let's go ahead and open this box up because you know how descriptions are on the bay. You know, oh, these are brand new. These were nothing but owned by an old lady at it from an estate sale is where these came from. Well, this was the story with this. Oh, it was an old man. He was about 80. It was an estate sale. He took care of all of this stuff. And it's like brand new. I'll be the judge of that. So, we're going to open it up with... Uh, buck 560. Another vintage item. You don't see these around. That solid titanium handle. It's the same exact thing as a buck 110. I love, 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 love this knife. I have a couple of them. Alright, so. Let's. Open her up. Same thing. Got the back lock. And extremely snappy. Yeah, baby. Nicely packaged. So, looky, looky, looky. What do we got? We got two Shimano 100 FS. Fighting Star Drags. Now... To back up the story, uh, if you pay attention or if you don't pay attention and you just don't care, hey, I can dig it. I have hundreds, I guess you could say, it seems like hundreds of these Shimano Triton 100G. Even though they're not called Tritons anymore, they're referred to as the Shimano TR100G. I've got multitudes of multitudes of multitudes of videos all about these reels. Because why, Dave? These are the most workhorse reels in the world, in my opinion. And right now, my opinion is the only thing that's really making any difference here. The only opinion that matters. And see, I hate this when the insignia falls off. I've had it fall off, this insignia that goes right here into this little circle. I've had it fall off and fall down into my rod holder. I'm so anal, I search around and found it down in the rod holder and dig it out and glue it back on. Yeah, folks. That's how you know I am. And I am missing one on here, so guess what? I gotta dig around in my spare parts bin. And I gotta get one on there. So, keep that in mind that literally I probably have upwards of two dozen videos about these reels and how durable these reels are so this is exactly the same reel except they're vintage they're vintage this is a 4.2 to 1 gear ratio I believe no 4.3 to 1 gear ratio 4.3 to 1 these 5.2 to 1 gear ratio they're a Skosh, skosh. Does anybody use that word much anymore? They're a skosh quicker. And they have Shimano's Fighting Star system. So let's see what the old 80 year old man and how well he took care of his reels. All the, everything's here. Got the schematic. Let's see how well he took care of his reels. Now, I got to get rid of all this. 
you know, it's really funny. Sometimes on eBay, people go, I've literally read this. Oh, missing the insignia. Womp, 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 womp. But I've literally read in descriptions on eBay. Oh, this reel comes with the string, too. Comes with the string? Who are you? Comes with the string. Nobody's going to keep this old damn line. I'm not. That's for damn sure. This shit is coming off and going into the bin. Seems to be working. And this is the fighting star. You adjust this knob on the outside here and then you adjust this and it's a shorter throw okay boom you take it back and it it's their way of sort of in Shimano engineers minds of making a star drag into a lever drag you know the old lever drags on big game reels that's what the fighting star was. So it would be loose here, and then all you have to do is go, bam, and you hit that first detent, hear it? Right there, and that would be like your strike position. And then you go, and you can now move it down just a little shorter to go into full drag. And the reason I sort of like it is I make these I set it and I forget it because I've been using these, if you don't know, on all of my float rigging rods for speckled sea trout and other species. Oh my God, Bob. Oh my God, nice one. Oh. Predominantly gator trout. I told everybody I'm going gator hunting. Gators. I'm a gator hunter. Me and the swamp people. We're gator hunters, except my gator don't bite back. Gator speckled sea trout. So we run a very, very light drag system on that. All right, let's see what number two brings. These weren't super expensive reels back then, but let me tell you something, folks. Oh my God, have these, you gotta hunt, you gotta hunt, 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 hunt. Oh, look at this one, it's got God dang Dacron on it. That looks like Dacron. Why? I hate clickers, because I don't ever, ever use a clicker. This guy must have been a, ca a kitty cat fisherman, I don't know them kitty catters. They love them clickers. All right. All right, seeming to work just fine. Another reason that I like these is the newer ones, and how do you tell the newer from the older? Well, the first thing right off the get-go, when you look at these reels and just a glance, the difference between the newer and the older is metal levers for the engage and disengage on the reel and then the same material that the reels made out of on the newer ones over here another way of telling without even seeing the lever is a metal paw cap versus a plastic paw cap these will crack these will crack and you'll have a little issue and then you got to put a new one on okay I'm, that's stuff I've learned there's nothing that happens or goes on with these reels that I have not had experience with over the years okay this one's got its insignia I like that so what the problem many times is with the newer models is look i mean you can just barely touch this and the drag star moves so when you crank it down a little bit and you put a little bit of drag pressure on it okay 
okay? Got a little drag pressure on it. They don't have the most infinitely adjustable drag in the world. Okay, that's just barely on. So if I back it off, and I want super light drag, okay, I want a pound or two. Well, when you have a pound or two, and you get some flailing, fingered, armed customer on your boat, charter customer, who isn't very experienced, and their hands are all over the place, and they knock it back, and now the drag goes into damn near free spool, okay? Because it doesn't have a super light setting, okay? So, you have to... You have to keep a little drag on there, believe it or not. And for float rig fishing, I want damn near no drag. Damn near no drag. I want very, very, very light drag. And this one with the Fighting Star enables me to do that. So that is the rhyme and the reason for these reels being perfect for me, for me, keywords, on my boat for float rig fishing, for customers, because I can set this very light, and they're not knocking it back because it, it holds, the star is held there. The other one, you just do this, and it'll come, it'll spin backwards and come loose on you. If Shimano wanted to take this reel, and they're still making these exact reels today, you can go right to Shimano's website, look up Level Wine conventional st star drag reels. Okay, they got the t the new Dakota and everything, which is like two hundred and ten dollars a piece for a reel that is no tougher than these. They're all the same guts, folks. They're all the same guts. There's just, it's like a, it's like a truck. A truck is a truck is a truck. Half ton pickup is a half ton pickup. Four tires, right? Suspension system holds a half a ton down the road in the bed. Now, you go buy, let's use Ford as an example. You buy that white, no fancy tires, no fancy rims, no fancy nothing, vinyl seats, standard, you know, small V8, whatever. How do you make that truck that is a vanilla work truck out the door sitting in the back far acreage of a Ford dealership because the only people that are going to buy it is some air conditioning company or a plumbing company, right? All the fancy ones with all the crapola is sitting up on the front of the lot. The ones with the big screen TVs, the one with the leather interior, the one with the, the gidgy gadget buttons for everything, the one with the four-tone paint and pinstripes, fancy tires and rims. So you know, tackle is the same way many times. Reels are the same thing. From one model to another, the guts of the reel many times will be damn near identical in every way. And what you're paying for as you step up is styling, color, shape, right? Gidgy gadgets on it, okay? Let me describe a Gidgy gadget for you. If Shimano wanted to make this reel, probably 10% better, all they'd have to do is make a ticking drag system where it goes Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Very similar to, let's say, let me pull out something that ticks 
all over the place. It's a ticking machine. There's a Daiwa Saltiga. Level wine, machined, real. Hear that? Ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Adjustment. Okay. Here, listen. Ticking. Centrifugal knob. All right. There you go. Ticking. Then you get into ball bearings. All right. Look at that. You can't probably even see it. But look at these little slots in that handle. That's on ball bearings. And you don't even have to go to the, a fancy one. Here is the same version. And this is a Daiwa Ryoga. This is a 1016. This is a small, little, small Daiwa Ryoga, right? This reel, this Saltiga, if you went to buy this right now today, $450 to $500. If you went to buy this, which would be old, because this is an old reel, we're talking, you'd have to buy it on eBay used, right? 300 at least in, my, in this condition, which is out of the box, brand new, okay? But, can you see that? Oops, sorry. Look at that. Each one of these paddles on this handle are on ball bearings. Look at them spinning. All right. Ticking, ticking, ticking. Centrifugal. Ticking. Drag or uh, cast control, magnetic cast control. All right, I made my point. My point is that if they wanted to step this reel up just 10%, 5%, they would make this ticking. Okay, but that's not why they make this reel. This reel is bare bones basic. Okay, now you go to a Shimano Takoda the new fancy one, or even the older ones. This has a bearing right here in the handle, behind the drag. That's about it. What's it got over here? Bushing, brass bushing. What's it got over here? Brass bushing. There you go. It's making it a little less fancy. It's just like getting the fancy rims on that Ford F-150 getting that leather upholstery. Everything basically can be the same. This is a reel. The Shimano Dakota is a reel. This is a reel. Guaranteed when this one was brand spanking new and this one was brand spanking new sitting in a showroom at your local sporting goods store back when there used to be ones that actually had cases full of damn near 500 type of reels at all times that's gone completely away you don't even see that hardly anymore this right here because it's the identical reel to this one the tr 100 g this is the tr 100 fs fs for fighting star this is an upgrade so this reel back in the day was forty nine ninety nine. This reel sitting on the showcase right next to it with the Fighting Star was sixty nine ninety nine. Well, let's put it this way: today, a brand new one of these is damn near ninety, and then even a used one in good condition, like these. These two 
are in good condition, and I've even bought them brand new in the box. Brand new leftovers hidden in a closet somewhere. Never used. The Fighting Star Shimano 100 FS reels will be over $100. Now, I got one coming right now that I, I put a, a best offer in. I got it for 40 bucks, free shipping. It's identical to this. But you're not going to know it by looking at it because somebody looks like they threw up it threw it up in the attic of a garage and it sat there with just piles of dust and dirt all over it. The reason I got it for forty is I told the guy I said, "Do you know what it's going to take me to clean that reel?" And he wanted seventy for it. I wouldn't give him seventy for it ever. I'd say, what is it? 70 of what? Gold bullion? No. It's a, it's a, originally a $50 reel when it was brand new. Now it's covered in crud. So that one's coming on the way right now, and I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to clean it. But I'm, I'm using that probably as a spare just for drag parts for these two, if something goes wrong, and my other FS reels that I have so there you go that's just a little bit of heads up I know I have subscribers that tell me they have some of these fighting stars you can get the fighting star and the speed master these are referred to as speed masters really it says it right on them it says it on the box speed master all right you could buy speed masters that didn't have the fighting star there was a flux in time when I believe Shimano held on to making these, but the hell they didn't know what to call them. They started calling them all kinds of names. High Speed, Speed Masters, because they made a, a, uh, another version of a Speed Master that is a non-level one. It was more of a kingfishing reel. So... All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about Shimano Reels. Vintage Speedmasters, as a matter of fact. And a little opinion thrown in there. But my opinions are very many times validated by years and years and years and years of experience in buying and selling tackle myself. Buying and selling reels, rods, lures, hooks, you name it. I have bought it and I have sold it. And there's not much that I haven't dealt with over, I don't know what, 40 years? So, take it or leave it. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about some of the more tougher, tougher, tougher basic reels that Shimano makes. So I'll see you on the next one.